Creating a tax plan in Intuit Tax Advisor is simple. The tax plan screen that I'm on right now is simply showing all of the tax plans that have been created so far, which clients those tax plans are for, as well as which base year and projected year have been used. And if I want to access a previously created tax plan, I can simply go into View Tax Plan. And if I want to get rid of any tax plans that I no longer have use for, I can delete that plan with that trash can icon. At the top here, you'll see total number of client credits that are available. And to create a tax plan, we will simply select Create Tax Plan. So the first thing that you will do is select your tax planning client. And typically the ideal clients for tax planning and advisory are going to be business owners, high net worth individuals. Each client that you select will need to use one credit. And with that credit, you can create unlimited tax plans within that calendar year. So let me go to a client here and select this one. You'll see that it pops up that you're going to need one credit for this client since we have not used one before. And then if I go to another client who I've already used a tax plan for, you would get this message. And that is because I've already used this client for a previous tax plan, so I don't need a credit for this situation. Next, we will need to select our base year as well as our 1040 return. So under base year, you can see that there's two options here. We have the choice between 21 and 22. We'll go ahead and leave it at 2022. And then the next piece is choosing an existing 1040 return. So if I go in here, I'm going to select this return that's available. So ITA is directly syncing with ProConnect Tax as well as Lacert, and that's both Lacert hosting as well as on the desktop application. So we're directly importing that specific tax return data that we've selected. And by doing that, we're automating a lot of that manual data entry process, as well as providing you with the most accurate client tax return data to work with. You'll also notice down here that we are generating a quick summary that's highlighting the number of potential tax strategies as well as savings that could apply to your selected client. And that is based on the data in the tax return that you selected. And the last piece is choosing a name or editing a name for the tax plan if you'd like to do so. And you'll also see which year it's projected out to. So uh, you have the ability to edit this if you want to. And you can see right now we're projecting out for 2023. So it is grayed out because 2023 is currently the only year that's supported. Now we'll want to press start planning and you're ready to start building out those tax plans, applying strategies and showcasing your expertise.